Hello buddy, welcome back to my channel. So today I am the HomePod. JB and J is going to be talking to you about the new HomePod OS teachers and the things today that he likes about the HomePod. And I hope you like the video. And I am JVMJ talking to you from the iPad because I am the start of the HomePod. I am talking about... Hey Siri, what's the temperature in here? 78 degrees. Like the HomePod Mini, this has a built-in sensor that can detect temperature and humidity of the room. This can let you set up different triggers to close blinds or turn on a fan automatically when the room reaches a certain temperature. There will also be an update later this spring that will allow for sound recognition for smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. I really love this feature because it will be able to alert you if an alarm is going off at home and you're not there. HomePod OS 16.3 on the HomePod Mini. So let's so in iOS 16.3, it adds a lot of new features to the HomePod. And it activates temperature inside of a room and humidity. It's consisting of both second generation HomePod and the HomePod Mini, which I have right here. Ambient sounds have been remastered inside of the HomePod. I think the new ones and the old ones. Yeah, the, both. One of them. And added scene and it added scenes, animations, alarms in our home app. Unique confirmation tone will play for our smart home. And the, thing, well, the things inside your room or house that you have that is like smart activated. Of your home pod. With the second generation, the one that just came out in the home pod mini. The sun, you know the sun. I have a lamp over there, which is, which is on my roof, which bounces down and behind me. So that probably might be the wheel. If you hear that loud woman talking, that's my mama. And do you want to see what this looks like? Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like. This is, like I said, if you hear that loud, loud, very loud woman talking, that is my mom, okay? This is my computer right there, my lamp. As you can see, the HomePod box over there. That's my lamp. It's, it's like pointed backwards. That's very loud. And my door is closed. It travels through the phone. Hey Siri, are you set up yet? No. Oh, and you can see my script. Well, I'm under Mac Rumors. Okay, so let's see the temperature and humidity if this is fully set up yet. Because I guess after you unplug it, it has to re-coordinate with whatever is happening. The heat is on, so it probably won't be very accurate. So let's ask it. What is the humidity in this room? Still getting that set up. Please try again in a few minutes. Well, I tried a few minutes. I gave you two minutes. Okay? I gave you two minutes. Three, two. Yeah, two minutes. Are you fully capable of any temperature? Still getting that set up. Please try again in a few minutes. You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna keep waiting for a few minutes. I'm gonna do it a few minutes. And then if it don't work, then this is gonna be completely canceled. I'm gonna try later. So I'm still waiting. I think I need to scoot over a little bit. Okay, so, um, if you keep wondering why I keep looking at my watch is because my camera, that's how like, I can control it. I can control it. Yes, so. Oh, so I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna come back, okay? Okay. Let's get started to see what the temperature and humidity is inside of this room. Okay, so let's see. Okay, right, so now the temperature is in this room. Hey, what's the temperature in this room? It's 69 degrees Fahrenheit in the bedroom. Put the heat on. Hmm. And you can go to the home app on your Apple Watch or your phone. It says 69 right here. And the humidity in this room is 52%. My favorite feature of all. And I didn't know that you could intercom using the watch. So, let me do that. I'm gonna step out, let it in the light. 
And I hope you like the video. And I have JBMJ talking to you from the iPad because I'm the start of the home.